Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a cool kit. You saw it all on the the uh, Hobby Nut models um, order that I got in, and I can't wait to open this up. It's still in the plastic. Um, I want to see it very bad, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. Tyrell P34 six wheeler, 1976 Japan GP, 120th scale, Grand Prix collection number 58 by Tamiya. Just love this thing. There's a lot of history in this vehicle, or this vehicle, that sounds kind of generic, in this race car. And it was driven by Mr. Schechter. Sch 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 Looks like something like that. I'm not good at enunciations or pronunciations. But anyway, I'm about to open this thing up. It's got photo etch parts, and uh, it's just super cool. So let's dig in love it can't wait to see what this thing i just can't wait to see the little tires um those are really cool and just see because it's 120th i'm kind of curious to see the actual physical size of it I and mean, we know what 124th and 5th is but when you jump you know a little bit larger it's always cool so here we go ready what year is this thing i'm, I'm thinking it's probably brand new but it could be older let's see i don't know if they have dates uh, 2022. 20, okay. Pretty darn brand new to me. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, I see. Has detail wire. Dang, those tires are awesome. Alright. Let's get all these parts taken out. And we will look at it. Alright. So, would you like me to bore you with the instruction sheet first? Yeah, I won't do that. They got a tech tips pay, uh, paper there. Here it is, all built up. That's the actual model. Very cool. I mean, it's got all the uh, history there. Um, I'm sure you, you guys probably know a lot more about it than I do, but I do know that this was one bad boy and won some races. Anyway, Tamiya. You, if you ever build it to me, they all, I mean, the instructions are super nice. The parts are the best, some of the best that you'll ever get. And anyway, it's got a driver. No way. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, let's get with it. Okay. So start with it. It's got some uh, seatbelt decals. Very nice. And then it's got the actual decals. Let me open this without tearing it and damaging anything. Well, thought it was going to do that. Oh. Well, watch me destroy these on camera. There we go. There are the decals. Very bright. Very cool. Whoa, so bright you can't hardly see them. A little better. Got the British, it got Canadian flags, British flags. What does it got? Both? I guess it does. I guess Jody drove it. I don't know. I thought, no, no, Mr. Oh, it's got two different names. It's got Schechter and Depaler. Depler? Depaler? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it's got some nice little decals. And not too many. So not this ginormous decal sheet that I would be very intimidated by. And then it's got photo etch. A bunch of photo etch. Nice big sheet of photo etch. Very cool. Sorry for the glare. Let me see if I can get my... If I get my hand to block the glare, it blocks the camera. Sorry. It's got seatbelt buckles. Isn't that nice? It's like brake discs. Oh man, this thing is too cool. It's got, it's got the front, look, there's the front four brake disc right there. Brake rotors. Yeah, discs, same thing. You know what I mean. And it looks like either some suspension parts that are a photo etch or just part of the uh, body structure. All right. Let me open up these bags and check out some parts. I got lots of parts. 
I didn't look to see what the parts count was, but it's quite high. All right, before I throw this bag away, make sure it's totally empty. Ford. Oh, and that's the best part about this, guys. It's a Ford. At least it's got the, I think it's Cosworth or something like that. Anyway, Ford. Dual overhead cam V8. All kind of little parts and pieces. Springs. Looks like wheel, wheel backs. Steering wheel. Um, instrument cluster. Little radiators. The big, huge wheels right there. Big ones. I'm talking about deep. Looks like a funnel. Look at that. Yeah, very nice. Bunch of radiators. Like one, two, three, four, five. I know they're not radiators, but they do radiate the heat out of some sort of fluid. So yeah, very nice. And here are your four fronts. Which is super cool. Teeny weeny little brake um, calipers and the rotors and you put that photo etch on top of it. That'll look mean. Itty bitty. Look how cute the little front shocks are. Uh, here's your front suspension. Double front suspension. Some other pieces. And with Tamiya quality it's just absolutely perfect. Hardly any cleanup to them um, at all for this thing. Alright, let's look at some of these engine parts now. It almost looks like a, a motorcycle engine. To look at it, looks like a, uh, you'd think it was like a V-twin something, but it's not. That's the front, the rear, and there's the, uh, the intake area section of the engine. Transaxle. Looks like the, uh, there's the sides of the engine. There's your intakes. There's a uh, eight little teeny little things. I don't know what those are. Maybe injectors. Not sure. Uh, some fancy exhaust. Another cooler of some sort looks like. That looks like a turbocharger almost. But I don't know if it is because I don't think they are. Maybe those are water pumps. Very nice. Exhaust. It's like exhaust collectors right here. And here's a chrome where would that go? The roll bar. So here's some chrome. The intake um, stacks. This would be the roll bar, roll bar and uh, some other chrome parts there. Here's the body. Actually, here's the body. <laughs> Human body. Here's the car body. Or the, the race car body. So here's the looks like the lower portion of the uh, the car, the floor underside. This would be facing the road. Other little parts and pieces, teeny little parts. But this is 120th, so it's not super small. I guess if you had this thing in 125th or fourth, it would be really small. Here's your seat. Some side panels of some sort. And the body, or the main part of the body. Look at them wide wheel. I hear a train, but I think it's the one uptown. I don't think it's the one. I don't think I'm going to get hindered by the train tonight. There's your rear spoiler. Here's your front spoiler, I believe. The sides for the spoiler, I think, is what that is right there. And yeah, the body is really cool. Yeah, it's got that super wide cutout for the dual front tires. That is too neat. And there he is. There's the little fella. Mr. Driver himself. And he's got seat belts on. So if you put him in there, you wouldn't need to use these seat belts. It's pretty neat that they had a driver. And it looks pretty period correct too with the old helmet. Pretty neat. He's all suited up. Fire suited up. Don't want an alcohol bath and catch on fire. That would be terrible. All right, and here's the part I was really wanting to look at. So the little teeny front Goodyear, and it's got the nice, looks like a real racing 
um, logo, Goodyear logo on it. it. Looks nice. They're so they're so um, grippy. You could put these things on like a slot car, man. Those things would grip. Yeah, there they are. Those are neat. Really like it. And then some rubber um, retainers of some sort right there. And now let me open up the the rear tires. These things are massive. And the detail parts as well. Look at that, man! That would look good, like on a pro. Uh, that such an awesome drag tire. Wow! And what's cool about them is they're already scuffed. You see the shiny sidewall, but then you see the tire scuffed. Now it needs some more scuffing to get that seam out of it. But look at that! Isn't that cool? Just as soft. And to compare the two sizes. Trying to look at the difference. Isn't that something? You could just put that tire inside the wheel or put that tire inside the other tire. It's such so much of a difference. But yeah, they figured it out. They figured with those little small tires, you ended up with more, I guess, contact surface area than you would with one tire. And then you know you've got you've got less rotating weight with the small tires, so maybe they they really had it figured out. But then they, I think they banned it. I don't think they let them race it very long. There's a screw that holds something together. Here's some detail tubing that comes with it. Here would be your spark plug wire that comes with it. Really nice. Some more retainers and a piece of window or glass now where would that go let me refer back to the box art to see if i see a, a window i don't see a i'm not sure where the clear part would go don't know but that is a really small thin piece of um window material i guess i could look on here let's see if i can figure it out really quick I would think it would come later in the instructions. But I have been wrong before. Yes, I have. I don't know. I'm looking. Okay, here we go. Right there. Transparent plastic plate. There must be two of them. And it goes... Where the heck is that? Oh, so that's the... Uh, those things that I thought were side panels are actually the cockpit. So these two you go together, that's the cockpit area. That one and that one. And then that clear that clear piece goes goes in there somehow or another and just makes a I don't know. I had no idea. Maybe it closes off the windows. That maybe that's what it is. It's got like little side windows in the side. I don't know why it would have windows. But I guess it does. And okay, now now that I see that, yeah, it looks like they've got like a reflection on there. So that it's got portholes in the side of the. Uh, I don't know why. That's that's peculiar. Maybe. Oh, I know why. So his head would be here, and he could look down and see the tires. Cool. I figured it out. That was for visibility, as far as him seeing, um, maybe his front tires or. Maybe just being able to see, not being able to see over this to see because the tires are so low or whatever, to see where he's at. So good idea. Good idea, guys. You 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 done good. You done real good. You 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 made it where he could see before he ran into the curb. Alright, so there's one tire. There's a tire. And then there's four tires. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. This thing is so cool. I um looks like it'd be a fun build it doesn't look like it would be a frustrating build i think it would be a really fun one and this has got to be sometime soon i like it but anyways thank you always to mark at hobby nut models where this kit came from go over there and check out hobby nut models get anything you need to build a quality model kit as well as the kit 
um, paints, sandpapers, primers, airbrushes, airbrush, everything, anything you can think of that you need, it's over there. Go check out hobbynutmodels.com, link in the description below. Please click that link if you do go choose to go over there, and it will greatly help me out. Um, if you use that link, I'd appreciate that. Um, also, the Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group, and the Spring Store, where you can grab yourself a cool coffee mug, sticker, t-shirt, whatever, with the Model Car Videos logo on it. And to my Patreon members, thank you guys so much. But most importantly, you that's watching this video. If it wasn't for you, I'd get no views. So thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, until the next video, guys, we'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.